What's up everybody? I'm John from High Jiu Jitsu. We've got Mr. Matteo over here. Taron Fazio asked me for a technique, a no gi armbar from mount. We showed a gi armbar from mount last week. Here's a no gi variation. Maddie's on his back. Across the street, Maddie. Sweet. Now, we're in this spot here. Yes, of course, when I'm in this position here, um, Maddie's really slippery, especially Maddie, who sweats profusely. Uh, and he's like a fish, he's slippery like a fish. So I don't want to be up here because he's going to start bringing my weight to one side and the other and navigating his escape. So instead, what I'm doing is I'm, come back a bit. What I'm doing is I'm staying nice and low. My chest is against his chest. My chest could even be in his face a little bit here. My hands are wide. But what I'm going to do here is prevent Manny from being able to come up. Okay, the way I do that is by bringing my hands to the top of his head. Okay, so I'm going to kind of hug his, the top of his skull. Okay, and that's going to keep Manny exactly where he's at right now. The next part of this is getting my femurs, my thighs, and sliding underneath these little gaps. There's a little bit of a gap between Manny's ribs. Look here, the gap is between the ribs and the elbow. Okay, and unless Maddie's got the arms completely down here, okay, I can still come underneath. There's still going to be a little gap where I can start to come under. Now again, understand that if I come straight up, that's working directly against uh, Maddie's strength. Instead of coming up and working on Maddie's lats, we're going to come out. Okay, and start to work on these smaller muscles right here, which means coming out this way rather than coming up that way. So, one, two, start to slide, start to bring one knee on the, uh, one thigh, sorry, on the inside of his, of his elbow. Now, whilst I'm holding the head, I can use this leg and kind of start to push. And this knee is coming out and slowly start to come up, come up. And I end up in this spot right here, okay, where I got his elbows up and away from his ribs. Now, from here, this is my territory because I'm controlling underneath his humerus all the way to his armpit. So I come here, I come one, extend this leg, come across to here. I really want him to hook onto his shoulder and onto his arms here. The pants, Maddie's giving me uh, many options right now. I can push this arm to take this one. Okay, I start to come underneath to here. I start to catch, control this arm here, elevate my hips. This hip elevation is really important because I want to lift Maddie's right shoulder. I'm going to control the right shoulder in order to get this arm up. So your hips, you can lift with your hips. Now this leg comes over just to here. Okay, I get control, and I come down just this way, and I get that finish. So again, here and here. If I don't control the head, this is what happens. He slides up with me, and that's not good. So if we come back, keep him stuck, and start to bring yourself down. See, what I have to do here is I extend my knee, Okay, slid it under, and now I'm gonna hold his head and start to come out there. Control, control, and you start to come up. Catch the bottom of this elbow, so I can extend this leg and come across to here. Now, end of the stick is what you're gonna grab. Hips up, leg comes over, and I'm right here. One, two, finish. Hope that helps. Uh, Nogi armbar, Nogi is definitely more slippery, but there's still a skeleton, and we're still looking to use our skeleton to wedge and find leverage against the opponent's skeleton and start to look for the easier, smoother way to what you want, which is a submission. So, hope that helps, Taryn. Hope you're well. Of course.